Hi. 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 You look pretty. You look pretty. I look pretty? Mm -hmm. Do I look like a bride? You do. <laughs> Our wedding day is finally here. The day we have always seen in movies and dreamed about since we were kids. <laughs> it is finally here. Today is the day that we profess our love for each other in front of God, our families, and our friends. You've been asking me daily if I was sure I wanted to marry you, and without hesitation, the answer is forever and always 1000% yes. You've been trying to win me over as long as I can remember, but today you win, we both win. You finally cracked me like an egg, and I fell for your beauty, <laughs> your personality, your loving smile, and so much more. This past decade has been the best of my life. Yes, even better than the 90s. <laughs> Regardless of hardship, loss, and tough times we have faced. At least we faced them together. From that moment in 8th grade, a new checks a box, box that said yes, it would date me to this morning as we prepare to write our next chapter. As I button on my shirt and toss on my jacket, I can only imagine how beautiful you look in that dress and how beautiful that you are. As I, e as I eagerly await seeing my bride on that wedding day, I have no idea what your dress looks like or what hairstyle Pinterest finally convinced you to wear. <laughs> But I can say without hesitation that you'd be more beautiful than I could ever imagine. Regardless of how much we age or health or any other condition, I know that you'll always be the most beautiful woman in the world. And I could not ever fathom being in this moment or building a family with anybody but you. Madeline, I promise to always love you and care for you as long as I am capable. I know that you'll always be there for me, no matter the circumstances. I know that you will always pick me up, pick up the slack when needed, and I will do the same for you. I promise that no one or nothing can ever come between us, no matter how furry or cute they are. You are my inspiration. You complete me, and the most of all, you're the only booger I ever want to pick. So dry your tears, fix your makeup, and get ready to walk down the aisle. I cannot wait to see you walking down the aisle with your dad um, and as he hands you off to me so we can upgrade from fiancés to husband and wife. I love you. Your vows or anything like that, we are in for a rough 30 minutes. <laughs> All right, my turn. Okay. I drew a picture for you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Dear Colton, as I sat down to write this, memories and pictures of the last 10 years and beyond flooded my mind. I thought of October 11, 2011, the day you asked me to be your girlfriend. I thought of homecomings, proms, choir and band, joining high school clubs just to spend an extra hour together once a week. I thought of cheering you on on the sidelines. I thought of long summers away from you and frequent trips to Springfield. And now it's our hometown. I thought of you standing in front of me when I read my acceptance letter to pharmacy school and the glimmer in your eyes as you began to picture our futures together. I thought of November 30th, 2019, the day you asked me to be your wife. I thought of evening walks with Wilbur and cozy Netflix, Netflix nights on the couch as we grew up and became homebodies. I thought of the most stressful year of my life and I remember you through it all. You were my crutch, my rock. As the months turned into days and the days turned into hours, we've been counting down to this moment right now. When I walk down the aisle in just a couple of hours, it will be just me and you and nothing else will matter. Colton. <laughs> I prayed and prayed you would come into my life ever since I was a little girl. I would sit in the car and gaze out the window, wondering if I happened to already know the man I would marry. 
wonder about what God had in store for me. Turns out I already did know him. I can't promise we won't argue or face challenges. I can't promise the years will be easy, but I intend to keep all the promises I make to you later today. You are my love, my world, my adventure partner, and almost my husband. I love you with all that I am and I always will. I can't wait for today and I can't wait for forever. Love you always. Almost Madeline Neal. We are assembled here in the presence of God to celebrate and support the marriage of Colton and Madeline. They ask for your blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support of their decision to become husband and wife. Colton and Madeline have been together since middle school, even earlier than that, but middle school started dating, is that right? Oh my goodness. Many of you have known this day would happen. Most of you have thought probably what took them so long. Well, the time has come. Love is a miraculous gift. And a wedding is, cel is a celebration of that blessing. And that's why we're here today, to share in that love. May the words spoken here today and the choice of Colton and Madeline to enter into this union be filled with blessing. May their marriage provide the love and support for each of them to expand into their greatest purpose. Marriage is a commitment for life. It's the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. It's a physical and an emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. When two people pledge their love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit that is unique to themselves that binds them closer than any spoken or written word. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Your happiness is fuller, your memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, even anger is felt more strongly at times, and it should also pass away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives that mistake in life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences and new ways of expressing a love deeper than any word can convey. Colton and Madeline, may every desire you have for your love be fulfilled. May your vision clearly behold one another and let God be the center of that vision in your life. May you listen to each other most genuinely. And may you give of your endless generosity to nourish one another's hearts and passionately keep the promises that you make here today. Colton, when I sat down and really thought about the beginning of us, I realized there really was no beginning. You've always been there, either in the background or in the spotlight of my life. It's weird how things work out. The day you asked me to be your girlfriend on a Tuesday morning in eighth grade band class <laughs> on a piece of notebook paper, <laughs> we had no idea we were entering a partnership that would span the rest of our lives. Through long summers and thousands of I miss you's, followed by a long summer stuck in a tiny apartment, but another summer in a slightly larger but still tiny house, <laughs> it didn't take long for me to fall in love with you. I couldn't tell you exactly when I knew, but somewhere between then and now, you became my home. We've had a lot of adventures together, but today we embark on a new adventure, marriage. Marriage is a lot of things, but to me, marriage is tag teaming a delicious weeknight dinner, even when we swear there's no food in the house and we're both too busy to go to the grocery store. <laughs> marriage is holding the same hands for a lifetime, watching them wrinkle and gray under your own. Marriage is not always 50-50, sometimes it's 30-70 or 90-10. Marriage is the ultimate commitment. When something is broken, you find a way to fix it. We live in a time when everything seems to be disposable, and to have a love like ours is truly uncommon. Lucky us. Our love is exactly how God designed it to be, but in no way perfect, and that's what makes it real and worth it. In all of these real moments, I'll always choose you. I choose you when you hopelessly try to pronounce drug names to help me study for exam after exam. I choose you even after that time you made fajitas with cinnamon instead of cumin. I choose you in all your selfless acts, watching you leave an Aldi cart for the next person because the person before you left it, and when you drove around town for a week with a bag of food and a dollar in your car to give to the next homeless person you saw. 
I choose you, despite late nights listening to you snore at volumes that a human should never be able to produce. <laughs> I chose you when you somehow fit a huge deep freezer in my tiny car after taking it out of the box in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> I choose you when I'm sad, when I'm happy, when life is great, and when things get hard. I choose you because you love so big and have such a tender heart. You remind me to live in the moment when I get ahead of myself. Your quiet strength and quiet courage have pulled me in and grounded me during hard times. I wouldn't be where I am without your foundation. Today, surrounded by all of our loved ones, I choose you to be my husband. Throughout our marriage, these are my promises to you. <laughs> I promise to always buy the frozen vegetables that do not have water chestnuts, or at least pick them out of your serving. <laughs> I promise to only buy two-ply toilet paper and never stop brand. <laughs> I promise to never let my bare toes touch your leg when we cuddle on the couch. <laughs> I promise to be patient and have faith in the dark times. I promise to be yours and only yours. I promise to be your lover, companion and friend, your partner in parenthood, your ally in conflict, and your biggest fan. I promise to be your navigator, best friend, and wife. I promise to honor, love, and cherish you through all life's adventures. Wherever we go, we'll go together. Lastly, I'm so thankful that God brought us together, first as friends and now as family. I really can't wait to be your wife in like five more minutes. <laughs> I've waited my whole life for this, and I love you more than ever in this moment. The end. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm on the clock, apparently, so if you could do this really quick, that'd be great. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Madeline, you are the love of my life. Well, I have known you nearly as long as we both have been alive. Uh, the past ten, take the cake. When I think about my life and the experiences I have had, the best ones you are a part of. I want to take you for a walk down memory lane for a moment. 2011. Wow, what a great year. <laughs> A couple of things happened on October 11, 2011. The top five songs in the United States, in order, were Someone Like You by Adele, Moves Like Jagger by Maroon 5, Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People, Stereo Hearts by Gym Class Heroes, and Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO. <laughs> A headline from October 11, 2011, an oil spill from the ship MV Reina off the coast of Taranga, and New Zealand becomes the country's worst environmental disaster. And for the local residents of Pleasant Hill, that day may have been significant because there was an eighth grade football game that evening. <laughs> <laughs> While these may be significant events for the rest of the world, only one event mattered that day. That was the day I pulled a play straight out of George Strait's playbook, a wadded up sticky note I handed to you and said, and I quote, will you go out with me? <laughs> that note had two options. Of course, both check boxes said the word yes. <laughs> that is why I remember that day better than me. So when I was thinking about writing my own vows, I wanted to find the first message I ever sent to you because, of course, I was too naive to talk to you at school. While searching, I recalled things like playing Power Rangers on the playground in preschool, the forcing your hand into mine on the bus in first grade, and you telling me that your family was moving away. Little did I know that I would miss those days of trying to hold my hand on the bus or attempting to kiss my cheek before you got off the bus. <laughs> then you returned to Pleasant Hill, found yourself in a new crush until the rained out field day in third grade when my friends forced me to watch the movie Cars for the billionth time. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know that that was all a ploy because you thought I was cute and wanted to shoot your shot with me. <laughs> Which I wanted nothing to do with until you laid your head on my shoulder and held my hand. Like nothing had changed from those cold morning bus rides years before. Yet, I would still not give in. Years went by and we drifted further and further apart until I saw you in middle school dance seventh grade when you had your makeup and hair done wearing a dress <laughs> that you wore against your mom's permission. <laughs> I kept an eye on you for that whole dance. Of course I remember you. I was too stubborn to admit it. I had to save face in front of my friends. So 
So I danced with another girl to distract my friends. And as the lights came on and the dance was over, I could not get the thought of you and how lonely you seemed that night. So I sent a Facebook message that read, and I quote again, Hey, to which your response was, Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, after meticulous planning, I decided to shoot my shot and ask you if you would date me. And I asked you to bring us first full circle back to the crumpled sticky note. To which he checked both yes boxes and planted a fat kiss dead center on my lips. <laughs> That's when I knew we would be inseparable for the rest of our lives. Your love has become further and further solidified through the years, especially those long drives down gravel roads between our houses, like Scott Road and the creepy cemetery and Sloan Cemetery Road. <laughs> That you would not let me drive past after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Madeline, you have always been there for me. You are my best friend, my companion, my rock. Through the years, I have called you by many names. Hey, you, that girl from third grade. Girlfriend, bae, babe, fiance. In about five minutes, I'll be able to call you my wife. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> when I think about what marriage is, the following things come to mind. Marriage is something special that not everyone gets to experience. I haven't been married before, but I can assure you that this is not always going to be perfect, and it's not always going to be easy. There is no one else I can picture the rest of my life with. We're going to share many laughs, tears, trauma, sadness, and many other emotional experiences. So before I read my vows and make lifelong promises to you, I want you to know that I love you and these promises will never be broken. Madeline, I promise to always respect you and value your input on everything. I promise to recognize your dreams and do everything in my power to ensure you achieve them. I promise to always stand in your corner, fight for you, protect you, and most of all, play for the same team always. I promise to always communicate with you, and if we are not on the same page, do whatever I can to ensure that we get on the same page. And I promise to always share my spoon with you to finish your meal, since you never seem to be able to find your own. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to never compromise on keeping the TV, radio, or any other electronic that emits sound at a volume that is divisible by the number two or five. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Madeline, most of all, I promise to love you forever and always, no matter the trials and tribulations. Thank you for being my soulmate. I can't wait to spend eternity. Hmm. Father, as we come before you and you see the exchanging of these rings and the vows that have been made evident before you and of the people here, I pray, God, for a blessing on this marriage, a blessing that will have a protection with your hand over it, and days that will be filled with good times moments that they will have that won't be so good, but God, you will be at the center of it and you will be blessing them along the way. I pray that they look to you and as they do, they would be drawn closer to each other. I pray that love wins in this relationship. I pray that their commitment to one another will be something that generations that come after them will aspire to have. I pray, God, that you would just continue to help this friendship grow closer than it could ever have been apart, and that, Lord, the moments and the uh, memories and the opportunities that they experience in their life will help them be closer than they've ever been in a deeper relationship than they ever thought possible. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, now that Madeline and Colton have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, I am so pleased to pronounce that they are now husband and wife. I think that was under five minutes, maybe. <laughs> may those whom God has joined together let no one separate. Colton, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> yes. Well, it is my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Colton and Madeline Neal.